they are very vexed. Ткань на дне, она деформированная. Есть рубцы. Функция зрительного нерва местами очень снижена до 10-20%. Uh, so you just had your diagnostics. I did. What, I did. Make, what did you make of it? Very interesting. Okay. Um, some of it was um, self-explanatory. He's seen me in a wheelchair. Mm. I wear dark glasses. Mm -hmm. He didn't, as far as the eyes went, he didn't actually give us any firm indication that he knew exactly what was wrong with them at all. Yeah. This specific diagnosis gave us a chance to form a verdict on Vladimir's abilities. We could get hold of a chart of Judy's spine and compare it with Vladimir's description. Was he really seeing her spine or not? We arranged to have an X-ray sent to us. The Bronikovs had agreed that we could film the whole course, but later in the day, they'd suddenly changed their minds. So it's all been going quite well, but the Bronikovs have now said that we can't film the course um, for a couple of days, which is because they want to keep their techniques to themselves. They're worried that somebody might copy them, so, which is fair enough. So um, I'll be attending with Judy, but we won't be filming. Uh, but we can film at the end and catch up then, so we get back in. Although taken aback by the Bronikovs' refusal to let us film, I continue to attend the classes. And when my crew is finally allowed back in, we get to see the founder of the method at work. I'm in Belgium, participating in a course on the Bronikov method, a system which makes many extraordinary claims, including helping the blind to see. Although the crew has temporarily been banned from filming, I've continued attending the course with Margaret and Judy from the UK. Yes, how long was the course? It was four, five hours. Yeah, four, five hours. Four, five hours. Four, five hours. You're talking a long yeah. time. Of watching them just, just... And we weren't allowed to film the essay, so we should explain. They're just showing you how to move energy around, yeah, around yeah, a person. Yeah. And, but hours and hours of just instructions as to how to move your hands. But clearly people are confused as well. It's not just us. Right. There, no, are, there are questions people, coming yeah. that you people that are. Up. Um, you, 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 yeah. But they're trying there to There was believe. one exercise yeah. and we all had to um, line up against one wall and six people lined up against the opposite yeah. wall. So. And we were supposed to find the boundaries yeah, of the energy field from the six lining up. And it was quite clear that uh, um, two or three people who were standing next to me were very confused about what this energy field was mm. until Mr. Bronikoff actually came up and said, uh, he, he sort of did this and, oh, there is, that's it, that's, that's it. it. Mm. And they, they sort of beamed and went, oh yes, of course, that's it, and walked up and put their hands yeah. and stood where he'd stood. Mm. There, was, not, there was another fun moment when, um, when they, they put their blindfolds on and practiced walking around the room, but right. using their x-ray vision yeah. that they're developing to not bump into things, which of course they were, walking into oh, right. walls yes. and chairs. So that was all going on. While that was going on, one of the guide dogs uh, did his business in the middle of the room. Yeah. Before. <laughs> uh, so there were comedy. I'm sorry, I watched that. I was just that. that, yeah. that, that, yeah. that we couldn't film it. I think there were some shame. comedy <laughs> moments there. <laughs> There's poodles for you. I was still intrigued by Vladimir's diagnosis of Judy's spinal problems. We'd spoken to Judy's doctors and got hold of a chart of her actual condition. We compared what Vladimir had described with what Judy's actual spine looks like. Disappointingly, the two pictures look quite different. Apart from one very common exception, which would be obvious to anybody with basic knowledge of the human spine, Vladimir's specific descriptions of which vertebrae were misaligned were all wrong. And he missed the fact that the top part has been replaced by calf's bone. Thank you.
While Judy, Margaret and I were attending classes, my film crew were able to film another of Vladimir's sessions. This time he was giving his prognosis to 16-year-old Tom Bruin and his parents. Tom has cerebral palsy, for which there's no known cure. Сейчас медицина давно знает, что почти все проблемы у человека появляются отсюда. Я тоже. I wanted to know how they regard the Bronikov method back in the former Soviet Union. So I contacted Sviatoslav Medvedev, the director of the St. Petersburg Institute of the Human Brain, who has investigated the Bronikov's work. Ah, hello, Professor Medvedev? Yes. Hello, this is Darren Brown. And I'm interested to find out a scientific opinion of the Bronikov method. So are you aware in Russia and in the Ukraine of many people that seem to have success with the Bronikov method? No. I uh, saw many pe blind people who were really blind, mm -hmm. and after uh, working with Bronikov, they uh, didn't uh, see anything. So, and uh, Bronikov is not very popular in Russia or in Ukraine. He's not. Uh, I, uh, it's not popular. No. Moreover, when I tried to uh, make experiments, uh, something happens. Sorry, so well, every time something happens. So every every time they said, oh, no, just now I cannot do it, and so on. Right. But of course he is a very good um, publication. Yeah. So he can speak that, oh, it's something absolutely unusual. No, it's, it's not, not nothing unusual. Um, one last question. Are you aware of even one person, one Bronikov student, who was blind and has been able to see, has learned how to see? No. That evening, while I was on the phone to Russia, a very special visitor turned up at the center. The founder of the method himself, Vyacheslav Bronikov. A meeting takes place to discuss the expansion of the Bronikov method into Europe and the USA. Attending the meeting are the key figures who will spearhead that expansion. Ведется сейчас работа, что, возможно, Россия выйдет с предложением в ООН. Значит, в Коста-Рике формируется от ООН институт жизни. Сейчас планируется создание еще художественного фильма, где планируется показать будущего человека. То есть открываются совершенно новые возможности в развитии и в создании у человека совершенно новых свойств и качеств. Хотелось бы объединить эти силы в одну программу «Мир без слепоты». So last night was the um, level one, and it was the uh, third day, and it's just, it's just starting to feel a bit humiliating, because if you're not buying into it, uh, then it just feels ludicrous. There is no evidence, no one is offering any evidence or proof that any of this works at all. It's purely somebody talking. Judy's not feeling any benefit from it at all, uh, but they're really throwing themselves into it. If I, if I was doing it, if I was doing this as a, as a course, I'd at least try and think, I've got to prove that I can do it first. I'd come up with some sort of trick or something.
This is my first chance to see Bronikov Senior at work.